Hello Pisces, it's my lady from my lady's way Terry, and I'm coming to do your weekly love reading for the week of 9 24 through October 1st, 2017. The cards I am using today are Oracle of the Mermaid cards by Lucy Cavendish. And I close off with my Miss Cleo cards. I like to read those straight out the book to ensure you get your full message. I want to thank everybody for a like, share, and subscribing and sending up personal readings with me. If you want a personal reading, check in the description box below. Email me and we can set something up. Other than that, make sure to check your sun, moon, and rising signs and let's get this show on the road, okay? All right, what's going on with the Pisces, Pisces, Pisces? What's going on with the Pisces for September 24th? Through October 1st, 2017. Pisces, September 24th through October 1st, 2017. All right, I'm already feeling like somebody, uh, some of you are um, just having some time to heal emotionally. There it is. Um, yeah, you're, you're searching for the inside, meditation, self-healing. You're really trying to work on yourself to be a better person right now. All right, yeah, because it seems like some kind of situation, somebody using you or just like a horrible job or something, I'm feeling like, since it's a love reading, somebody is using you and it's taking you to a dark place and it made you like mean and, and negative and you started even looking at yourself differently in the uh, the mirror. You don't see yourself anymore. So it's like you, you're ready to heal yourself from this situation. And it's got to do with somebody just treating you like they don't want you. You know, the feeling of being unwanted will definitely take you in a dark place. You keep doing more and more to get this person to look at you for as beautiful as you are or as nice as you are and as kind as you are. And never, nothing's ever good enough. Okay. There it is right there. A little self-esteem that you try to... Oh, you're trying to do better. You're trying to see better, you know, but this person is holding you back and it's by the way that they're treating you. They're treating you like crap and you're starting to feel like it. All right. Mm. Okay, so it's like this honesty. I never really looked at that too at the top. And I feel like this honesty is you and this I feel like you need to be honest with this person and this person will be honest with you. I think you f should tell this person. This is about telling this person what you really feel about what they're doing to you, you know? I'm not sure if, if it a change anything, but I feel like just getting it off your chest is going to be one of your ways of, of healing because I, I don't feel like you've been making a big deal about it. Okay. Yeah, so emotionally, physically, mentally, and emotionally draining. That's what this relationship is. And it and it comes from this person just treating you like they don't want you. They're treating you like nothing. You're trying to give them affection. They don't want it. You're trying to do things for you or them. There, It's just not good enough. You know, so it's like right now you're not thinking about leaving or anything. Not that I know of. But you're just trying to find yourself to feel better, uh, find ways to feel better about the, the, the situation. Okay? I feel like one more. Ooh. Okay. Maybe this is going to make you feel better. Maybe you're pregnant or maybe you're just starting all these new things that is making you feel more powerful and more um, great on the inside. You know, this going to break through all this negativity and bring you to where you want to be in life. You know, you just want to love yourself. You want an honest relationship. You want somebody that's not using you. And you feel like through honesty, you can do that. And it's possible, you know, because apparently you're not ready to leave. So, um, you, you're still trying to work on it and work on yourself in the end. Yeah. You really care about this relationship. That's why you, you letting it go on this far, you know, or, and for some of you, you care about this relationship because you're pregnant and you have children already. You know, you're just trying to make yourself feel better. It's time to care about you and not all, everybody else all the time. All right? All right. What's going on with the Pisces? Pisces, Pisces. 
Pisces love reading for October 24th through October 1st. September, 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 September 24th through October 1st. Pisces, September 24th. Okay, secrets being revealed. So, no, the secrets are going on. So, you might be trying to do this secretly, like secretly trying to heal yourself. Because I don't think this person wants you to do that. They don't want you to know how great you are. They don't want you to know how beautiful you are. They just want to keep you down. And you you scared to be honest, but I feel like you're going to do it. You're going to be honest. But it's like right now or in the past, you've been holding it because you don't know what this person is saying. I feel like I got to pull this one too. All right. Yeah, you just being sensitive. you like. I just love, I want to love, you know, and right now you can't love because this situation is making you feel, you know, unlovable. If you can't love yourself, you can't love anybody else, you know, and I feel like if you're not doing this self for yourself, you're doing it for your children or just people around you, people that care about you. They, they notice the change in your personality, you know, all right, all right, what's going on? September 24th through October 1st, love reading for the Pisces. Pisces, Pisces, Pisces. Okay, so that one wants to come out. Let's see what that is. All right, so uh, this to me is just like um, taking what you got left and, and just trying to work with it. You know, just in this card set up, you're like, this is all I, I got. You know, I'm going to just work with what I got right now. All right? But I'm going to cut these one more time. Like this card. It is. Okay, so some of you guys are stalking your partners, okay? Or your partners could be stalking you. You know, they want to act like they don't want you, but they want to follow you around, you know? I don't know. I'm, I'm hearing that they are scared you might leave. They know they're not treating you right. Bunch of fighting going on, yeah? Somebody's thinking about moving out, taking a trip, just going to relax and rebuild their self. And then coming to an understanding about what's going on in the situation. Like, why do I want to leave, you know? Why do I need time away? So, yeah, it's definitely some choices um, to be made right now. And I feel like in this situation, the choice is just you, you or them. All right, so we got the five of staffs. Okay, so the five of staffs is upright. It says, people are fighting. Caution must be used. Harm may follow. Arguments may occur and continue. All right, and it might be about you taking a trip to, you know, find inner peace now that I'm reading it. All right, and then we have the knight of staffs. And this is upright, and it says, um, you may be taking a trip soon over a long distance. Now is a good time to change where you live. If you want to leave the situation, leave now. So it's like basically you like, I feel like this is not a complete leave. I just feel like it's, I, need, I need a break so you can be able to talk to this person. I feel like you can't talk to this person unless you do something drastic. And this is the, the drastic thing you're doing. You might just be going to take a trip or see family or something like that. Something out of the norm to get them to look. Hey, I'm sick of this. All right. So we got the two of cups. All right. The two of cups says, um, this is a union card of two people coming together. A time of understanding between the two. So it's like, yeah, I'm sick of it. You know, um, I need to tell you that's this honesty card. Tell you what I think and what, what what's going through my head. So you can see what they they thinking. You're just trying to throw something out there. But I, I, I'm i still not feeling like you, you're you completely ready. But I feel like you're just going to take a shot in the dark. Okay. Two of swords. Swords. All right. And it's upright. It says, a choice between two, two things may occur. Look for people who offer friendship and mutual guide. A respect for guidance so it's like right now you're looking for somebody to help you make your decision you know but then you're also trying to cleanse yourself so 
I think the best answer is within. You know, you can't find what you're going to do with other people. So, I, I mean, just, I'm thinking, just like, cut everybody out, go take your trip and think about it yourself. Is it, is it what's going to benefit you, okay? But that's all I have. Make sure to check your sun, moon, and rising signs if you're on a personal reading. Check in the description box below. Email me and we can set something up. Other than that, have a great week.